new bong guys. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me figure out what this is before. Oh, yeah. Super cheese, guys. Super cheese. How's it going? Welcome to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I am Devo. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Man, I love cheese. <laughs> um, hey, thank you guys for coming in and watching this video. You know, I hope it makes somebody smile. If you've never been in here before, hit that slight but like button. Smash it. Like that one. And then hit subscribe. Whoa. Man, man, man. The Chronicles. I love doing research. This strain right there, man, earlier today when I tried this, that was turned on to me by a friend, he said, hey, man, I need you to try this uh, super cheese. Man, I've heard of blue cheese. I've heard of um, blue cheese. Let's see. I said blue cheese. Right? Cottage cheese. Um, there's a couple other cheeses out there. Che macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese. Um, yeah. And the blue cheese is pretty good, man. So I guess this is a split off a bit. Hey, hey. Bravo. Whoever made that. Bravo. Got it. Salsa. State line dispensary. Go in there. They've got all kinds of flour on the wall, folks. And there ain't anything in there over nine bucks a gram that I saw. I think it's eight. Eight or something. I don't know, man. You gotta check it out. It's some really good stuff in there. I ain't even kidding. Um, this is a story about the time that I had. I had a I had band practice there in a little town where I lived at, and uh, I had a little Honda 400, and I used to drink all the time. I mean, even when we practiced, I would take a fifth of. I used to love to drink the clear Montezuma tequila. I mean, the brown stuff will kill you and make you do crazy things. That's a bad decision, whiskey. Brown whiskey will kill you. <clears throat> Clear whiskey will kill you too, but it's slower. So I was drinking on a pint of the Montezuma while I was at practice. I rode my bike there. I had a pair of shorts on. My guitar player at the time, he said, hey, man, I'm going to ride with you. Uh, my girlfriend's going to drive my car. I just want to ride with you at night on that bike. Oh, cool, man. Here, hold my fifth. I had a fifth in the you know, outside. So we take off, and I'm pretty well lit up, so we're driving. Everything's fine. You know, we're talking back and forth, and he's holding that bottle, and he's holding, you know, got his arm on my shoulder, and we're cruising. And we get to where we're going, and you pull up, and it's a big, giant, cul-de-sac-looking thing with the concrete walkway around the top of it. And as the walkway goes off and on. Well, I usually ride my bike up on top of the concrete where the walkway is and then stop and then get off. But up on the other side of it, straight down, it's a hill. And, uh, man, we, he jumped, he was, when I pulled up on the sidewalk, he jumps off. And when he did the momentum throw, and I, I went like that. And I was already hammered, so I went off the hill with my motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I crashed. But, I got the bike up. They helped me, and I was so hammered that I kept trying to drive up to the hill. It was falling over on me, and finally they separated me and got my bike out and everything. Yeah. Don't drink and drive, folks, especially motorcycle. It will destroy you. No joke. Hey, I had a tattoo right there, folks, and that same motorcycle peeled it off. It was a skull with long hair. Uh I had long hair at the time, so I had a skull with long hair. It looked like me. No more. Bad most of it. But, hey, thank you guys for coming in and listening to the story. Um, I hope maybe somebody heard it and decides, you know, not to take that drink and ride that bike. Because, man, that, that, that'll get away with you. Easy. Easy, man. Easy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, y'all have a new bomb.
God bless. Be kind.